Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to solve adding negative numbers. As you can see, there are three important things that we need to remember when adding negative numbers. The first one is that if the numbers have the same sign, you add them together and keep the sign. If both numbers are positive, or if both numbers are negative, you will add the numbers together and you'll keep the sign. If you add a positive plus a positive, your answer is gonna be a positive. And if you do a negative plus a negative, your answer is going to be a negative. So you'll add the numbers together and you'll just keep the sign of the two numbers you added together. If the numbers have different signs, you subtract their absolute values. Now an absolute value is just the distance from zero. And because distance is positive and can never be negative, an absolute value will always be positive. So you will subtract the two positive absolute values from each other. Then your answer for that will have the same sign as the larger number. So whatever the sign is on the larger number, meaning just the bigger number, your answer will have that same sign. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem on adding negative numbers. This problem gives us negative two plus negative five. Now you will notice that both of these numbers are negative, which means they have the same sign. When they have the same sign, you can add them together and keep the sign in your answer. Because this is a negative and this is a negative, I know my answer is also going to be negative. We're gonna add the two numbers together. We're just gonna add two and five. Two plus five and two plus five is seven, but our answer has to have the same sign as the two numbers we added together because they had the same sign. So in this case, the sign that they both had was negative, which means our answer also has to be negative. Negative two plus negative five is going to be equal to negative seven because you add the two and the five together. And because they're both negative, you're gonna keep that negative in your answer and your answer is going to be negative seven. Moving on to the second practice problem, this one gives us negative three plus six. This time they have different signs. You can see that negative three has a negative and this six is a positive six. When you're adding negative numbers with different signs, you're going to subtract their absolute value. Now the absolute value is just the distance from zero. I'm going to find the absolute value of three minus six. And the way you show absolute value is with these absolute value bars. So we have the absolute value of three minus six. Three minus six is negative three. And then the absolute value of negative three is positive three because the distance from negative three to zero on the number line is, is three, so our answer is positive three. Now, after subtracting, you have to go back to your problem and see which number is larger. In the case of three and six, six is obviously the larger number, it's larger than three. And six is positive, which means your answer is going to be positive. So our answer to this is going to be positive three. If the larger number was negative, then your answer would have changed to be a negative. Jumping down to our last practice problem on adding negative numbers, this time we have four plus negative one. This problem gives us two numbers that have different signs. This four is positive and this one is obviously negative, it's a negative one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract the absolute values of four and one. So I'm gonna say four minus one in absolute value bars. Well, four minus one is three, and the absolute value of three is just three. And then again, we check to see which number is larger, four or one, well, four is larger. Four is positive, which means our answer is also gonna be positive. So the answer to this practice problem is going to be positive three. And if you wanna do some more practice on adding negative numbers, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to be taken to an interactive practice quiz that grades itself, or you can download a free practice worksheet on how to add negative numbers. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.